Hey everybody, Shabo here, back from a video, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a team picker in Roblox. So the first thing you want to do is go to view at the top, open up Explorer and Properties, and then open up Output to check for errors. Now as you can see here, I have this on my screen. There is a model to this. You can either use the model I put in the description and pinned comment or make it yourself. The structure of this is pretty simple, so if I go to Explorer here, go to Starter GUI, the Screen GUI, this is the model. It's just a frame with two buttons inside of it. So it should be easy to copy it for yourself if you want to make it yourself, or you can just use the model. Now I'm just going to move this into replicated storage. And then, well, first I'm gonna make the two teams. So we're gonna go to team service, go to explore, go to teams, press the plus, and then put a team. And then I'm gonna put another one, put blue, and then make the team color blue, and then red, and then make the team color red. And then I'm also going to make a choosing team. So we're just gonna do that again, and then make a choosing team. I'm gonna make it so when they join, they can't be put on the blue or red team. We're gonna select the blue one, hold control and press the red one while you're holding control and then go to properties and then turn off auto assignable and that should stop them from spawning on it whenever they join the game. Now that we got our team set up, we're going to go to starter player and explore. So go to starter player, go to starter player scripts, right click it, insert object, and then insert a local script and make sure it's a local script or this will not work. So now we're going to start scripting most of this. So we can delete that. And then first we're going to set up our variables. So, okay, so we've got our variable set up, the replicated storage, which is this, the player service, which is this, and then the team service. And then we got variables for the red team, the blue team, and then the choosing team. We got a variable for the player. And then we've got a variable for the screen GUI, which is our team picker. We make sure it doesn't reset when you spawn in because that can cause some glitches. And then we're putting it inside of the player GUI so that they can see it. Now we're gonna make a function that hides and shows the team picker. So here we've made a function. Inside of this function, it'll check if they're on the choosing team. If they are, it'll show the GUI. And if they are not, it will disable it. We run this function once at the start. And then whenever the team changes, so we're going to the player, detecting whenever their team is changed, and then connecting it to the function. This make sure whenever the team changes it'll show the GUI if they're put on the choosing team and if they aren't it'll just not show it. Now we've got to make it work so for this we're going to go to replicated storage right here click the plus sign and then insert a remote event. Now I'm just going to name this choose team so you just click it and then go to properties and then change the name. Next we're going to go to server script service. Next we're going to go to server script service click the plus sign, press the script, and then now we can start our variables here. Now I've made some variables, so for, for the most part, all of this is the same as the local script. So as you can see up here, it's all the same, but we've added the choose event here, which we will also add to the local script. So I'm just gonna highlight this, copy it, and then put it here too. The purpose of this remote event is so whenever the client detects that we pressed a button, because only the client is able to do that, which is the local script, then it'll fire the remote telling the server to change our team, because the client is not allowed to do that. So I'm gonna make a function real quick. So what this function does, it gets the player, which is always sent, and then it checks if the ch if the team they chose is either red, and then puts them on red, blue, and then puts them on blue. Otherwise, it puts them on the choosing team, destroys their character, and then just stops there. If the team was chosen correctly, then it'll just reload their character, and that's the end of the function. And then down here, whenever the event is fired, it'll just run the function. Now we're gonna go back to our client script, and we're going to make the we're gonna make the buttons actually work. Down here we have the new code, which is the blue button variable and the red button variable. As you can see here, if we follow this, it'll go to the screen GUI, then to the frame, and then the blue button. And then for the red button, same thing, except it goes to the red button. Now right here, we're detecting whenever the button is clicked, and then whenever it is, it runs this function, which just tells the choose event that we're choosing the blue team. And then same for the red one, except it tells them the red team. And it should be working now. So if I press play here, you can see first I'm on the choosing team, and then I can choose my team. So if I press red, I'll be put on the red team, and the team picker goes away. And that's how you make a team picker in Roblox. Make sure to slap that like button and punch the subscribe button. Peace.